this is Kate, the BFF from college, who is now the enemy. Kate Martin has the responsibility of Gardner BFF. <laughs> I'm really close with a lot of my teammates, but me and Kate are probably the closest just because, you know, we've been together the longest. I've been a fan of both of them since college, so I was torn. I want Kate to be good, but maybe not too good. Kate Martin getting in the block party. For four years, you played with Caitlin. Mm -hmm. Now, what was it like to play against her? It was weird, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, <laughs> just looking out on the court and, you know, seeing her in a different jersey than me, it was obviously different. So let's relive this game and see best friends become rivals for a night. Brought to you by Odds Jam, the champion of sports betting tools. Because we're going to Vegas. Clark Tour continues after getting their first win of the season and her first career win last night against Los Angeles Sparks, having to now face the back-to-back -back WNBA champions. I mean, I feel really grateful to be in the position that I'm in right now and just sitting in between two of the coats. Now that Kate is a pro, she has new BFFs like Asia Wilson. The city of Las Vegas! It is its first major professional title. And what an exciting matchup. Caitlin Asia in this atmosphere. I mean, look at this place. It's jacked up. It's so fun. The electricity is tangible. It was my first time watching Asia Wilson live, but I've seen some TikToks, so I was aware of the threat. Oh, the footwork. That's pretty. She's just been incredible. Like, there's only so much you can do. Like, there's so many different schemes you can try to throw at her, but uh, she's able to get to her spots and get what she wants. Asia Wilson with the finish on the left side. Caitlin had a plan, though. She knew she was going to be blitzed, so she went left to separate Asia from Aliyah. Nobody on Aliyah Boston, and she still got the hot hand. She had a big game last night against the Sparks. But this is not the Sparks. This is the Aces. Stewart with five, draws the double. Laney to the corner. Anderson. finish and for the first time in 21 years the WNBA has a back-to-back -back champion they're two-time defending champions for a reason like it's gonna be a tough matchup it's gonna be a hard game for us but you know you come out here and compete as hard as you can and you go into every single game believing you can win and Asia Wilson on pace to set a new WNBA record for the most points per game on average and Caitlin Clark leading rookies in just about every category We've got two of the best players in the league in Asia Wilson and Caitlin Clark. If you remember this game, you were probably happy at first. Caitlin Clark gets away with a little, little shove inside, <laughs> creates that space. But you knew it was going to be a long night. Caitlin Clark overtaking that and Asia Wilson, the help to ID. Um, I think she impacts the game on both ends of the floor, which, you know, not every player can do that. Asia was tricky. Here, she was guarded by Nalisa Smith. They're about the same height, but after one rotation, the 6'5 Asia ended up with a 5'7 Erica Wheeler. With 240 left in this first quarter, it's been fast, and it's been close. Las Vegas was only up by one when Kate entered the game. Kate Martin checks into the game. <laughs> She's and a crowd favorite. This girl is serious. She didn't even smile at her BFF. And Caitlin Clark, the task of guarding her, they're best friends. And going against each other now. Is that one from Young won't go. Martin trying to get the rebound instead, down to the fever. Caitlin knew that Kate is good at defense, so she doesn't force it. Defensive rotation, Lexi Hall, oh, left corner. Yeah, probably the thing that I've been the most proud of is just how we've improved on the offensive end. That's the pace that Christy Sides wants from her team. And I think that will continue to get better. Look how flawless this rotation is and the speed of Kelsey Mitchell. Ooh, see, that's a difference maker for me with yep. Indiana. Kelsey Mitchell, first two games, she was in single digits. Last four games, 17 plus in each game. Speaking of speed, here's Demi. Benley, coast to coast. Nobody's stepping in front of her and picking her up. We all know Caitlin loves Demi. Long rebound to the fever. Well, Benley says, don't wait, don't wait. In fact, Benley's so graceful. It's just like she glides through the air. A four-point fever lead over back-to-back -back champs. Coming off the bench, Kate didn't do much in the first 10 minutes. But let me tell you her story. 
My name's Kate Martin. I'm from Glen Carbon, Illinois. I grew up just the biggest Hawkeye fan ever, because obviously, as most people know, Coach Jay is my aunt. And so I grew up just around the women's basketball team, and I idolized every single player on the team. My family, they were all Hawkeye fans, and I knew that that's where I wanted to be. My dad is a football coach, and he coached me and my brother's sport growing up. I played tackle football in fourth grade. I loved being able to bond with him through sport. Then Caitlin came into her life and everything changed. There's a new girl in school, and she's a different kind of beast. Who is this? We didn't know what to think because she was this like big time recruit. Like everybody in the everybody in the country knew her, and we were like, okay, yeah, like. Like this girl makes me play better. Martin for three, swish for Kate Martin. Money, Martin. And guaranteed money with odds jam works like this. The arbitrage tool scans over 260 sports books in real time, spotting differences in betting lines to find odds. Then you bet on both sides for a guaranteed profit. That's because the money you lost on one team gets absorbed by the money you won on the other team. So it doesn't matter which team wins, you win all the time. These odds change really quickly. That's why with one click, you can lock your bets before the opportunity disappears. Oddsjam also has a positive EV calculator to optimize your bets and a handy bet tracker to monitor your profits. With Oddsjam, you're not really gambling but using math to your advantage for a long-term profitability. You'll always lose if you depend on luck, but Oddsjam helps you become a more data-driven, mathematically driven, and most importantly, a more profitable sports better. The best part is they offer a seven day free trial. Use code Dribble for a 35% discount on your first month of use. Thank you, Odds Jam, for sponsoring this video. Kate is the loudest voice in practice. <laughs> Younger players learn from Kate how to use their voice. I'm not surprised that she's she does that. She's always been unique and kind and not afraid to um, speak up. Caitlin is the superstar, but Kate is the leader, also because she's older. She is an amazing leader, one of the best that I've ever been around in coaching all these years. She's a coach's kid, so I think it comes naturally a little bit for her because she's seen her dad as a football coach for so many years be that tremendous leader. Definitely probably the best leader or best teammate I've ever had in my entire life. So it's Iowa, huh? Yep. What attracted you to uh, Iowa City? Um, my family lives around there. My mom's from there. And um, it's just a great place. It's a great atmosphere. So I've loved it since I was young. We love playing in front of our home crowd and it's been really special all year long to play in front of 15,000 people every single game. When your teammate is a superstar, you might become one too. It's been, you know, a little different with cameras literally everywhere all the time. It's, it's also really cool at the same time. Your family gets famous overnight. Matt Martin is a first year teacher and coach with a lot of people just now realizing he's Kate Martin's dad as well. I had a student say, my mom and I watch every game. My mom was stressed and this, you know, and so it's a fun conversation. And the tension that we get in opposing arenas is, is amazing. I mean, we're seeing Hawk fans no matter where we go. Me and Caitlin are roommates and we were sitting in the hotel last night and the State Farm ad just pops up and we just look at each other and started laughing. It's not unrealistic for us to go to the tournament every year, like that's the main goal. They reached the finals in 2023, but lost. That was Kate's last year in college too. But everyone begged her to stay one more year. Everyone was just like, Kate, like, please come back. Like, why would you want to start your job now? Like, you have another year to do college. You have another year to be at Iowa. Like, come on, like, there's no better place. I, I did really take time to think about the decision to come back for my sixth year. I talked to her, Coach Pluter talked to her, and it was just like, we think you might like regret this, and we don't want you to pass on a great opportunity of getting to play another year, work on your master's degree. And I was like, you can spend time with me. And I don't think teammates have to be friends off the court. 
I'd actively choose to spend my time with her. In the end, Kate stayed one more year because she wants another shot at the national championship. Kobe Bryant once said, you know, there's no such thing as failure, you know? Seriously, what does failure mean? It's not, it doesn't, it, it doesn't exist. It's a figment of your imagination. It's just, it's all about getting better. It's learning, and we learn. I'm really glad she came back for her sixth year. It took some convincing. I begged her, but I think now that she's here and enjoying it, she knows it was the right decision and she wouldn't change it for the world. I think it's gonna be one of the best years of her life. It was indeed the best year of Kate's life because in 2023, she got viral. Actually, when I got interviewed here, they didn't know that Kate was my daughter and they wanted a fun fact. So I said, oh, Kate Martin's my daughter. The, the reaction they gave me surprised me because I didn't realize how excited people would be that she was my my daughter. I watch women's basketball because my teacher's daughter is on the team. She even had her own TV commercial. We need some help on the line. Don't worry guys, I got this. They reached the finals again but lost again. Martin chucks it in. Stolke catches. Clark has it taken away by Johnson. And now will Iowa back off? And it looks like they will. And Caitlin Clark says goodbye to college basketball. So Kate thought that was the end of her basketball career. Now what's what's next for you? Yeah, well, I want to continue playing basketball. Um, you know, I hope I get drafted. I, uh, I don't know. I, I, I hope that happens for me. And uh, if not, then, you know, I move on with my life. And so she put her name on the draft, even though she knew she wasn't going to be a top pick. I mean, she wasn't invited to photo ops. And one more time here, right here, please, right here. Or got a front row seat on the day but I, uh, I want to keep playing basketball for as long as possible because I just love the sport and I'm not ready to be done playing basketball. Uh... Thankfully, the basketball gods weren't done with her yet either. With the 18th pick, the Las Vegas Aces select Kate Martin, University of Iowa. <laughs> I was shocked when they called her name because I didn't even know she was in the building. Okay, this is so dang cool. Like, you're here supporting your teammates, and, and they were gonna have you in the mezzanine. I'm like, you better bring her down here because I think she's gonna get drafted. So, um, I'm really happy to be here. I was here to support Caitlin, but, you know, I was hoping to hear my name called, and all I wanted was an opportunity, and I got it, so I'm really excited. What a wonderful moment. For Kate Martin, a player considered the glue of these Iowa teams that have captivated so many people across the country. Here's a burrito. Made fresh, made quick, made with love. Oh, sorry about that. The glue. The other Clark is bigger than our Clark. Oh yeah, that's a foul. Alicia Clark caught her across the face. <laughs> you never think you foul, do you? Oh, you never think you foul, ever. And if Caitlin is a quarterback, Alicia is an interceptor. And Clark, another steal. And a takeaway by Clark. Kate got a steal. Now look at this ball movement starting with the other Clark. Then Kate makes one more pass back to Clark. One more pass, Clark up and in. The extra pass. Yeah. Um, you know, just trying to be the best teammate I can possibly be and support, you know, the starting pass as much as I possibly can. What was a deficit is now a 7-0 run and a two-point lead for the Aces. Then more interceptions came. And there's a strip by J.O. There's just so much there that I can still get so much better at. Um, and for me, like, that's exciting, that's fun. Like, knowing that I have that much potential to grow and really get better and help my team get that much better. Meanwhile, Kate wanted to prove herself. Skip across, Kate Martin back in, left corner, hits it. 
Like, you showed all different aspects of your game. Great. Hey, Martin getting in the block party. She's loving that. Um, honestly, I just take what the defense gives me. Um, you know, I, I don't try to do too much. I just try to let the game come to me and let it flow from there. How about another three ball for Kate Martin, her second of the ball game. And the largest lead of the game for the Aces, up 13. But a team that was down 11 last night came back to win it. And Caitlin did bounce back. Look at this ball screen action. First, Tammy screens Kelsey Plum. Now, look at how Caitlin and Tammy cross each other's paths. Very tight, just inches away from each other. And the timing of how Tammy isolated Caitlin from two defenders. Kelsey Plum was too late. As Caitlin Clark and now back-to-back -back buckets for the Fever. This is how they kick things off in the second half in Los Angeles. They pulled within three. Coral in the left corner gets it. These threes trying to get them back in this one. And how can you not love Erica Wheeler? Oh, I'm a banker for Wheeler, way outside. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's better to be lucky <laughs> than good. That's a tough shot. But Caitlin was tired. Caitlin Clark with her hands on her knees. Yeah. I think this three-game road trip <laughs> is wearing. But six games in 10 days. I would say it was definitely a, a tough start, um, just in regards to the schedule and things like that and the inexperience this team had. The rest of the team was also tired, but they kept fighting. She gets stripped. I mean, <laughs> she's getting all out after it. Down 20, it doesn't matter. And I think the rim was demon-possessed. Oh, her gun light blew that one. Wow. It's tough to beat a team like this, you know, not being able to score the ball. You know, and that's what I just kept telling them. You know, they, that, the shots are going to fall. Keep getting the same looks. Been layout running. So is Alicia Clark. Transition defense. Clark, get it back. Yep. Straight through. They had an answer for whatever Caitlin Clark was going to try to do. The Las Vegas bench was terrifying. Look at her footwork. Colson steps back, swish. But the best bench player was Kate. Martin put the O board and another chance. Do whatever it takes to win. Martin drives it. And <laughs> They've got a friendly test ball from Alicia Clark. Oh, some high fives. And so the other Clark is now Kate's new BFF too. And Las Vegas with the win. Martin with nine points off the bench and six rebounds. Um, last game, obviously, in Tarver Hawkeye Arena for me and for the other four seniors. And it's, I mean, it's sad. I'll look at them sometimes and just be like, Wow, like this is almost over, but think about all the memories that we've made together on and off the court. <laughs> Look who it is! And I think that's the most important thing. That's what we'll remember forever. What are you guys doing here? Yeah, it's bittersweet, and um, I'm really excited for my next chapter in life. A lot of people were surprised that she made the roster. I'm guessing you were not. Mm -hmm. At times, she could get a little overlooked in college, but like, she could do some amazing things. She can do some things that I couldn't do. So like, every time we were watching, I will play. And I'm like, damn, we love that kid, Martin kid. Oh, she's so good. She's so solid. Celebrating tonight, including mom and dad. You can see dad, no doubt, all smiles tonight, watching their little girl live out her childhood dream. I don't know if this has been a dream. I think Iowa women's basketball was a dream for her. You know, playing a championship back-to-back -back years were a dream. And now she's getting to live this dream. Keep it up with the block. Kate Martin is unbelievable. Hawk Nation, thank you for everything. Um, your support over the last six years has been nothing short of incredible. I've brought a lot of joy to people, and that's what our teams have brought to people is a lot of joy, and that's hopefully what um, our legacy is. Carter's at 14. Oh, no. Oh, this is hard to watch. That is not, not good. She's in a lot of pain, is Kate Martin, and asking for some help up. Ooh. Uh, whether I get minutes on any given night or, you know, I might not get minutes, you know, my role is going to stay the same and I'm going to try to be a good teammate and, uh, you know, help the team win in any possible way.
the kids all come and tell me, oh, I watched the game last night, I saw you on TV, and they love it, and they talk about all the exciting things that she did on the court during a game. I found out like when she got the job and uh, I like was like kind of excited. I mean, who would have thought little boys would be wearing girl jerseys? Um, with all the attention Caitlin gets, you know, it shines the light on all of us. I mean, every single player yeah. is off the bench to circle around. That's how much she means to this team. Do you love the process? that gets you to that, those boring, agonizing moments. If you love that, then you know you found something that's really true to you. I have called it a glue because I do think she's the person that holds this team together. When Kate Martin talks, people listen. Just believe in yourself. Just have no doubt at all. Have no doubt. We don't have time for that. Um, we know we believe in everyone to the left and to our right. This fan base is like none other. Uh, we know that we're not going to get that everywhere else. So uh, I think that's what makes it really sentimental and really hard to let go because <laughs> you know that you're, you're, you might not feel that feeling ever again. The impact of Caitlin Clark, Kate Martin, and this Iowa Hawkeye team will be felt for generations.